If you want to get your videos or your pictures to look like this, 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 or this, I right, look, they get into it, no doubt. First off, I just want to say I appreciate everybody who went in and uh, supported my first video when it came down to the Black Dragon tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to basically be explaining to you all the differences between the new Black Dragon and the old Black Dragon. I specifically use this Black Dragon more than the old one, but within the old Black Dragon, I want to go ahead and show you all the basics of how to use Black Dragon instead of just giving you all the map. And within y'all can just go ahead and jump straight into stuff that y'all pretty much don't really know, like the details behind. You feel me? If you haven't already, make sure you like and comment on the on, on the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We gonna jump straight into it. And so the first difference that I can say that this Black Dragon has from the old Black Dragon is most definitely the quality. Within this Black Dragon, I, for me personally, I got for I go for more of a realistic feel instead of just a oh, bloomy type vibe or whatever. But this Black Dragon really just pops out the realism within objects, within avatars, within sceneries. I'm a cinematic person myself, so I be trying to get cinematic scenes personally, but I don't know, like, I always use this Black Dragon when it comes down to me shooting videos, to me taking pictures, to me doing anything for real. I ain't even okay. Now, it was a very, very hard point in time and where people were deciding on if they wanted to use the old Black Dragon or the new Black Dragon, and a lot of people decided to stay on the old Black Dragon. So that's why I went ahead and released the video first for y'all. But a lot of people are starting to come over to the new Black Dragon because they now so much like starting to see the differences between the two and it's really true. So I was like, shit, fuck it. Let's go ahead and get y'all a video on the differences. When it come down to detail within this Black Dragon, the detail is A1. When it come down to shine, when it come down to bloom, when it come down to realism, when it come down to really anything. And then another strong factor within this Black Dragon is that it uses PBR materials. PBR basically stands for physically based rendering material. PBR was first introduced to us when Second Life basically wanted to update mirrors and reflections. So when I say mirrors and reflections, you know how you can go into a mirror and obviously you can see yourself. Now you can see yourself in walls, you can see yourself in objects, you can see yourself in glass tables or the floor. You feel me? So everything and majority of the um, objects in Second Life have been transferred into materials of where you can see yourself in those objects. Such as like, you can even see yourself in another avatar if it came down to it, if they had the right um, materials on the avatar. But it come down to glossiness, shine, and everything else in the bulb. Majority of the time, it really just relies on your reflections. That's the main part of it. But you can turn off PBR, but the only thing about it is that if you do turn your PBR off, a lot of things around in your scenery or in your world or on your sim or wherever you're at most likely are going to disappear off of the simple fact that after they updated almost everything got updated along within pbr so i don't know the black dragon that i currently am on is called 5.4.4 volumetric black dragon so I, I ain't gonna lie this update i was surprised because i love like how the rays are made throughout the sceneries like i can literally just have a lightning ray come through the, the window and it's shining through and look at the bro it looks so trim i ain't gonna lie like that's my favorite part so far and i'm gonna show y'all basically how to uh, use that as well basically you would just have to go in your settings scroll down to where it says volumetric lighting and it's gonna be these sliders to in which you can um swipe them up or down and it'll basically brighten up how strong you want that lightning ray to be or how weak you want the lightning ray to be either or for real but for this to work you will have to turn your shadows on but you can just turn your shadows on like low settings not too low i suggest like medium for your rays to appear this Black Dragon, I feel like personally, it moves way smoother than the old Black Dragon as well. I forgot to mention in the past video, um, it's basically for you all to download Black Dragon, 
I'm gonna put the link in the bio for you all so that you all can go to the Black Dragon file directly so that you all will just be able to download the files directly from there. I will be linking the old Black Dragon as well as the new Black Dragon. I forgot to tell y'all that in the past video and people were in my Instagram basically asking me, how do you even download Black Dragon or where do you go to? Because I know it's another website or something like that that leads people to another path or whatever. But I'm gonna be putting that up in the um, bio for you all so that you all can go straight to it and i will also be putting a link for you all to join the black dragon discord so that you all could personally get your own updates without me just posting an update video every time now i know a lot of people came to the video so that they can get the new graphics for this black dragon look i got y'all you feel me look so i'm gonna get y'all them out one more time and whatever y'all decide to do with it is on y'all. I personally don't care. I want to see everybody win. You feel me? But I'm going to scan through these graphic settings again. Y'all can jot everything down. Take notes. Switch up whatever y'all need to so that y'all can perform at a better pace. And here you go. The next videos that I'm really to be shooting to is like me teaching you all how to shoot videos, how to take pictures, and etc. You feel me? So I'm be answering everybody's questions. Make sure you like and comment on the video, and we just gonna get it in like that, man. Thank y'all for watching. I'm about.